Hello, this is Eviews, and I'm going to be showing you how to change your sounds on your iPod Touch or iPhone. And you need to be jailbroken to do this, so you have to have a jailbroken iPod uh, to do this. And if you do have a jailbroken iPod, you you will have Cydia, so you got to go on Cydia. And then just wait for that to load. Once that's loaded, you got to go on to Manage, then Sources. And then once you're in sources, you go go on edit, and then you press add, and then you can add a source. And the source you need to add is this one right here. There we go, ihacksrepo.com, and I'll put that in the description as well, so you can just copy it from there. And then once you've installed that source, you go go on search, and then you want to search tone, T O N E, and then F. X S, and then you search that, and once you search that, uh, it will come up with all of these. But the one you need is Tone FX 2 Pro, the one I've installed right there from iHacks Repo. So you go on that, and then you click Install, which will be up there. For me, it says Modify because I've already installed it. But you just click Install and then Confirm, and then it should start installing it. Once it's installed, you'll have um, this icon right here. It says Turn Effects, and then you just click on that. And then on like the main menu, it will show you all the apps you can change for, all my games and everything that has notifications and stuff like that. So you can change for your messages, your FaceTime calls, everything. And it comes with some uh, default ones, and you can make your own ones. You go download this program, which I'll show you in a sec. But yeah, you just go on to any one of these. You can put your default tone, you can have silence, so there's no sound at all. There's some sounds that they give you here. And there's some system tones that you can choose from. And to make your own tone, it will show you here, right um, there, it will say create your own tone. And then it tells you to go onto this website and download the creator, which I'll show you right now. Okay, so to create your own tone, you do need a computer and internet access. So once you're onto your computer, you just gotta open your internet browser, whichever one you have. And then you want to search on the top bar here, www.tonefx.com. I'll have the link in the description as well. And you just search that. And then it will come up with this link. And down here, it will say download ToneFX Creator. And you just want to click download. And then you want to download it for whichever XP or Mac, whichever one you have, obviously. And then once it's downloaded, you just click run and install the application. Once you've installed it, you'll have this application wherever you saved it. And you just want to click on that. Okay, so once that's open, you need to get a music file. And then you just want to browse your computer and find a music file you have. I'm just going to pick a random one here just to test with. That one. Yeah, you just click that and then it will open up right here. And you can choose uh, where you want the start and the end of it to be. And that's the longest you can have the tone, but you can make it a lot shorter, like that. And then once you've chosen how you, uh, when you want it to start and end, you click on preview, you can preview it if you want. And then you click send tone effects to iPhone or obviously iPod Touch. And then it'll create your tone and you can press, you click OK. You can change the name of it if you want, just click OK. And then something should pop up in a second here. Oh yeah, this, then this will pop up and then it will give you a code and you have to go back to your iPhone or iPod Touch and then you go open that Turn FX application again and then you want to go on get a turn and then this just load up and then right here you put in that code that it gives you right there so it was T-A-N T-A-N B X zero, and then you just click on download right there. Downloading tone. Okay, so once you've downloaded it, you just choose what application you want the sound on. So I'm just gonna do it on new email right there. 
and then you scroll down to where it says custom tones and then your custom tones will be right there I've made one before right here just called tone and when you check it it will preview it so you can listen to it before you actually accept it and I don't know if you can hear this one okay so that's the one I've made and then you just tick that and then go back and then you can exit the application and the next time I'll get a new email it will make that sound so that's basically it that's tone effects you can change it any sound or for any application uh, on your iPod touch or iPhone okay so thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe rate and comment and make sure you comment down below if you want more videos like this more how-to videos and yeah thanks for watching